While the page navigation and view is great for simple apps, most developers need a lot more options and features. More like the navigation view controller in regular iOS programming. And that's what the hierarchical navigation is for. So here I have, so the first thing I'm going to do is delete this segue and delete this second view. I'm going to drag in two new interface controllers and two buttons into our first initial interface. And this is because there's two types of hierarchical segues. The first, so to create a segue between two interfaces, we of course control drag from our button to one of our interfaces. Now the first action segue is a push. The second is a modal. Now if you've done iOS programming before, you've, you've probably heard of each of these. They work the same way as they do in regular iOS programming. And to show you that, I'm going to run the app. So here we have our two buttons. The first having a push segue. As you can see, just like in regular iOS, as you can see, it pulls that other interface in from the right like a normal push segue on iOS in a navigation view controller. As you can see, there's a back button up here which we can press. We can also you can also swipe back just like that. You have to swipe from the side. You can see you can swipe back. The next is a modal view controller. As you can see, like a modal view controller on iOS, it pulls that new interface controller over the top of the interface with a cancel button up here to, of course, dismiss that interface that was pulled over. So the final thing I want to address in this tutorial is how page navigation works with this hierarchical uh, navigation. To do that, I'm going to add a third view interface controller and I'm going to make page, I'm going to link these through page navigation. The next page and run the app. So as you can see, we have our two pages that we can navigate between. On our second modal button, we can press it and it works fine. It just pulls that mode over the top. We can dismiss it and we can continue to navigate between our two screens. But our push button doesn't work. It tries to pull that interface over to the side, but it just doesn't do it properly. That's because you can't use a push segue from a page navigation interface controller. You just can't. You can only use modal segues to pull an interface over the top of the page view. So being able to navigate is a great step forward. But the next thing you want to be able to do is actually add logic to your app. Add code behind that interface. That's what I'm going to show you in the next video.